guys and welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux in the advanced distribution. So in this tutorial we will be taking an in-depth look into uh, exploits and payloads. So let's go ahead and fire up our Kali Linux. So I'll just start my VMware. Okay. So all exploits in a Metasploit framework will fall into two different categories. One is active and another one is passive. So active exploits will uh, exploit a specific host. It will run until its uh, completion and then it will straight away exit. So today we will be looking on to two uh, in-depth uh, types of things that would be payloads and exploits. And after that I will be giving you uh, some good uh, database description related to Metasploit. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so yeah, before I proceed, uh, there are brute force modules that will exit when a shell opens from the victim, and module execution stops if an error is encountered. So you can force an active module to the background by passing minus j to the exploit command such as exploit hyphen j. So I'll just go ahead and so you can just go ahead and type exploit hyphen j uh, and you can go ahead and use that exploit. Or if you're in MSF console, let me just go ahead and open the MSF console. I will be using the Windows SMB P uh, exploit and I'll be showing you how exactly these two differ. That's active and passive exploits by the time it starts I'll just go ahead and also start another terminal so now over here I'll be using the uh, SMB P -sec -sec exploit so I'll just go ahead and type use exploit and I'll go ahead and use it for Windows SMB slash P let me check P -sec -sec exploit and I'll hit enter so it has accepted the P -sec -sec. I'll just go ahead and type set our host to uh, my remote computer that would be 192.168.236.130 this is my own IP address which I have received from over here so yep and I'll just go ahead and hit enter after that I'll just go ahead and type as you can see we have the our host set up over here after that I'll go ahead and set the payload option and I'll go ahead and let me, I'll just go ahead and use the Windows one, Windows slash shell slash and I'll use the reverse TCP and I'll hit enter. So payload is also set up right now, that's the Windows shell reverse TCP. After that, now I will go ahead and select uh, the uh, local host, uh, so I'll just go ahead and type set L host and I'll just go ahead and start up my Windows 7 as well. This is uh, not actually a good idea because most of the time if your firewall is open, even if the normal Windows Defender is open, it will not allow you to go ahead and exploit that particular system. So most of the time an active exploit is far better than just a passive exploit. But still there are sometimes people using Windows XP in many of the organizations and that's the reason I am teaching you that. And Windows XP is extremely vulnerable to this specific exploit. So I'll just go ahead and open my command prompt. Okay. So my IP address is 192.168.236.131. So I'll just type and I'll just go ahead and set it to 1. Perfect, now I'll hit enter. So I have the remote host setup, the payload and the local host setup. Next thing I need to do is to go ahead and set the local port. So just type select L port to let's say for 4444 for example. You can choose anything, uh, it's not anything like SN specific. And I'll be using the SMB user. So I'll just go ahead and select set SMB okay so we have SMB so I'll be using select SMB user and I'll just go ahead and type 
move team okay perfect set smb user and i'll go ahead and type uh, i want to go ahead and select it to be the victim so i'll just go ahead and type victim let me check okay sorry smb user okay so smb user is the victim right now so now i'll go ahead and select the s3cr3t exploit so i'll just go ahead and select the same thing again but over here i'll select s3cr3t so that is a uh, secret so it doesn't matter uh, if i had uh, a different one so i'll just go down i'll do one thing i'll just go ahead and use my own one the one which i'm using right now it's test user so i'll just select test user and i'll go ahead and select the password as smb pass and my password is abc at the rate one two three and just remember that this password that i have used is extremely insecure i have just used it for testing purposes so i have used it now just go ahead and type exploit okay so as you can see uh, it tried to go ahead and connect to my remote server but the connection refused to okay let me check if uh, my connection is still active in 192.68.236 Okay, the connection is active so let us go ahead and try to exploit that once more test user abcd one two three exploit okay so the reason for this is uh, just ignore the part that it's giving over here that connection is refused so what passive exploits do does is that it waits for incoming host and then exploit them so it won't work uh, normally what you need to do is that you need to make sure that um, the person over here is actually trying to go to and access something from your system and only when he does that kind of thing you will be able to access that so uh, passive exploits are always uh, focus on clients such as web browsers ftp clients etc because they need something to redirect something to them they can also be used in conjunction with email exploits waiting for connections and passive exploits uh, report shells as they happen uh, as they can be enumerated by passing the hyphen l to the sessions command passing hyphen i will start with will interact with the shell so selecting an exploit in metasploit adds exploit and check command to the msf console <coughs> so i'll just go back and i can just type let's say use exploit and i can just type windows smb slash and i'll just type ms09 and yeah perfect and i'll hit enter and inside over here i'll just go down and use exploit okay sorry i'll just go down and use the help so as you can see over here i'll just uh okay, install so as you can see it over here uh we have the different check option to go and check if the target is vulnerable so before i go ahead and proceed with that i need to know whether what i'm doing will work so after this i'll just go ahead and type show let's see what happens okay i believe the show or show should be in perfect so this is what it does exactly it's showing me now what will happen and okay perfect perfect so it's what is exactly is gathering all the information that that specific exploit can do and it's showing me all of these things so using an exploit also adds uh, more options to the show command so i can also type let's say like uh, msf exploit show targets and it also go ahead and show me targets if there are any okay i believe show targets how okay let me check perfect it should be uh, lowercase l so this exploit will work towards windows vista service pack 1 service pack 2 and the server 2008 so now i need to go ahead and check whether the whether there are any payloads related to that so i can go ahead and type show payloads and hit enter and these are the payloads that are available for this kind of exploit and these are showing exactly which one is encrypted which one is not and which one is the best uh, used for our purposes so after that now we can go to also uh, use the ad show advanced commands or show options and show evasion so i'll just go ahead and type show options 
it will show exactly what all I have set. If I have set something to the R port, it will go ahead and select that, else it will go ahead and select the default 445 and the R host would be the, my remote computer's address. So I need, when I go ahead and set any of these things, it will show me that. So I'll just go ahead and show you that set R host 192, okay perfect. So let's see if what I get if I show options, perfect. So the remote host is set. Now just go ahead and use set our port and I'll just type let's say 44 no I'll just use 44 and I'll go ahead and type show options and as you can see the R port has been changed and there is one more method I can go ahead and type that's show options or show no sorry not show options it's show advanced and it will show me that uh, how exactly will it work, what will be the verbose and how many workspaces will this model acquire to go and actually get the required number of port uh, connections. So these are all the types of things that this can be done and this can be worked through. And the last thing would be to go and show evasion that will show you exactly how, uh, what are the ways through which it can go ahead and evade some of the things so that the person who is actually trying to or the forensic investigator who is actually trying to gather information he will not be able to gather any kind of thing. So yeah, that's it. And that is it for the exploits part. It's not a much in detail and exploits, uh, there's not much to learn about exploits as well because it's very easy to understand. So that's it for this tutorial, but I'll be continuing with the payloads uh, stuff in the next tutorial and just hang on for that.